Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see what is actually a requirement document based on a real scenario. Consider we have to design a vehicle feature which is under development and this feature will have to maintain a constant distance between the vehicles. It could be either the front distance or it could be either the back distance. In such a case, we have to place a sensor and the sensor will give the measurement which will be an input to the controller. In the real scenario, we will have some quantities which we can give as an input to the vehicle which could be either brake, acceleration or the gear. So based on the gears, we will have to accelerate the vehicle or brake the vehicle and that will manipulate the speed. In this way, it will also maintain the constant distance between the vehicle which we are driving and the vehicle which is in front of us or which is behind of us. This is a real scenario and based on this requirement document or this requirement, we will have to create a requirement document and based on which we will be implementing the logic in the software that we will be designing. In this case, we will have two types of modeling, one of which is called as plant modeling, which is basically designing the sensor and the vehicle part, which is till this point. And next is how we can control the vehicle and we will have this brake and acceleration actuation so that we can control the speed of the vehicle and that will also maintain the distance between the other vehicle or the vehicle that we are driving. So in the next tutorial, we will see an overview of a requirement document and how it looks like. We will take a small example in the form of a word document and that we will be using to write the requirement. Once we have the requirement ready, then based on that, we will create the model. So we will consider this real scenario and write the requirement document in the next tutorial. In case you are liking the channel, please consider subscribing. If you have any comment or suggestion, please do consider to leave it in the comment section so that we can have a look into that and improve your experience of learning MATLAB in this channel. Happy learning MATLAB. Have a good day.